It's easy to target a small group of people who are different, who aren't understood, or who maybe make you feel uncomfortable. And this isn't the first time that uh, the state of Idaho has tried to Mr. Speaker. Please state your objection, good lady from 30. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman is impugning motives. Thank you, good lady. Be careful, good gentleman. I apologize. I'm kind of trying to do a lot of things, so sometimes I miss stuff. And I apologize, good gentleman. Well, in your good debate. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, because if I was allowed to finish my sentence so that the good lady had the full understanding of what I was going to say before objecting, when I say this isn't the first time that the state has done this, uh, I wanted to um, read from the Idaho State Constitution. You can read from the Constitution without asking, so the good gentleman can read. Correct. This is from Article 6, Section 3. No person is permitted to vote who is a bigamist Mr. or Speaker. a polygamist. Lady from 30. The gentleman is still debating on the assumption that there are motives that are inappropriate, and I think we're still going down the wrong road. A good lady. Good gentleman, are you, uh, be really careful with where you're going because I think some of our members think you're imputing your motives and I would no. tend to degree you're getting close to it. So just be a little careful. Good no. gentleman may continue. Thank you. No person is, again, from Article 6, Section 3 of the Idaho State Constitution, no person is permitted to vote who is a bigamist or polygamist or is living in what is known Mr. as the Speaker. patriarchal... General 22. Is, is this our current constitution or is this, this not our current constitution? Um, the permission to be, to, to read is, is out of the, said was out of the constitution. I don't believe this is in our constitution right now. And I'd like the clarification on if that's in our constitution Good gentlemen, right is now. this the current constitution or is this a uh, older version? This is and you're, from, and you're reading from notes too. Be careful with our debate, guys. We're not supposed to read our debate, but go ahead. Well, first, uh, this is from the original constitution. And I'm reading from the original Constitution. Well, good gentlemen, the original Constitution is not the current Constitution, so the good gentleman's con concerns are correct. If you would like to ask unanimous consent to, re to uh, read from an old Constitution, that's a different deal. But the current Constitution does not cover that, and it's the current okay. one, not the old one. Well, I, to, to explain why I was reading from the old con the original Constitution is because that clause that section of the Constitution was repealed in 1982 and over one-third of the, by, via, via a, a ballot um, uh, a, amendment on the ballot, and over one-third of Idahoans still voted to keep that in the Constitution. And so my point is to make that we are now looking at a bill here today that is doing to a small group of people who are different, who aren't understood, who make other people uncomfortable, we are looking at doing to them what the founders of this state tried to do to members of the uh, LDS, LDS faith, and what one-third of the voters in the state were still willing to keep in the Constitution. You know. And it's not just what we're trying to do in the law, but when you look at penalties that are in this bill, that takes it even further. We're saying we're going to punish you and deliberately hurt you if you don't conform to the norms of the majority. And during this debate, we heard a lot of concerns about how these medical treatments might harm or hurt or uh, mem people who are suffering from gender dysphoria. But I didn't hear one person in favor of this bill express any concern about people who suffer from gender dysphoria and commit suicide. The words behind the speaker's desk says, in God we trust. And the question for all of us in this chamber is it a vengeful God or a loving God? I choose the latter. I'm voting no on this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The good gentleman from 15, 
talked about our view of God. And it's an area that I guess the good gentleman and I from 15 agree on. I choose to view God as a loving God. Some people don't. That's been my experience. It's been my perception. Love sometimes is difficult. Sometimes it requires telling people something they don't want to hear. I would submit one of the most unloving things that you can do to an individual that is struggling in this area is to lie to them. XX, XY. Male and female created he them. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There's nothing loving about throwing doctors in jail. And there's nothing loving about a legislature that says it knows what's best for your child than you do.